This is Future Tech, where each week we discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of where tech is headed in 2023 and beyond. There is a new push to ban facial recognition tech on the federal level in Congress. Blake Montgomery joins us now. He's a deputy editor at Gizmodo. And Blake, I mean, did Democrats think that they'll actually be successful this go around? I imagine Ed Markey thinks he's going to be successful reintroducing this bill. He introduced it in 2021. It died in committee. We still don't have a federal regulation that governs facial recognition. This bill would prohibit any federal agencies like the FBI or the FDA or what have you from identifying Americans or someone on American soil using facial recognition software. Okay, so we do know that the FBI has been testing it, right? We, we did a report on that recently. What did we find there? We found that the FBI, according to documents released uh, in response to a FOIA lawsuit by the ACLU, the FBI has been partnering with a lot of researchers to test basically drastically expanding the scope of facial recognition software's use in the United States. There was testing on using it in cameras, in subways, on public streets, in hospitals, in schools, and it would just really widen the scope of how often Americans would be subjected to identification via facial recognition in a way that we haven't seen in this country at all. It was a multiple years long research effort between the FBI and these academics. It is over, it was called the Janus Program. It ended in 2020, but was folded into another program called Project Horus. So it may still be going on, we're not sure. The documents end at 2020, but what they do show is a really vast uh, experiment in facial recognition in the United States. So of course there's privacy concerns, right? There's also concerns about uh, racial bias. We've seen that in, in various algorithms before. Um, I mean, can you talk a little bit more about that, some of the concerns about this technology? Yeah, researchers have found that facial recognition is much less accurate when looking at faces that are darker skinned, and that has led to people being wrongfully detained, wrongfully jailed, for being identified as subjects in crimes that they were nowhere near. A man was even identified as a subject for a crime in Georgia and detained when he was no, he lived in Louisiana, he didn't, like he wasn't near the crime scene at all and was detained for more than a week. So of course it might not be a surprise, you know, that the federal government has tested out this tech, that law enforcement have, you know, they've been using this tech in, in, in some instances, but even like MSG Stadium, you're going to go watch a concert or a show, they have used facial recognition as well. Yeah, we've seen the owner of, of MSG really put the put the software to use in, a, in an aggressive way that we haven't seen anywhere else in the country. So Madison Square Garden is this enormous entertainment like conglomerate that owns some of the most iconic stadiums in New York City and by extension the country. And we've seen the stadium like put facial recognition software to use identifying lawyers who are involved in lawsuits against the company, not even as plaintiffs. These are just lawyers who work for enormous firms. They may not even be involved at the suit at all, but somehow, but by scraping the headshots of those lawyers from the firm's website, feeding them into the facial recognition algorithm and putting it to use in line for basketball games, for concerts. One woman was kicked out of the stadium when she was attending a concert with her daughter. Uh, she was trying to go to the Rockettes and was unceremoniously barred from entry. And it's this, it's this petty use by a powerful person of facial recognition software that kind of heralds an unpleasant future. Yeah, of course, there could be uh, a lot of misuse for this type of technology. Of course, there could be some great uses for this technology. I just, I think that the concern by many Democrats probably is, is that we don't really have the oversight, we don't have the safety guards uh, just yet. And, and of course, all that data collected mm -hmm. on Americans is gonna be a concern as well. And it's what we don't have our safeguards at the national level. This is what I think that uh, attempted, the reintroduction of the, of the attempted 2021 ban is supposed to rectify. I don't think it's going to pass yet again. Uh, so what we have instead is like a patchwork of regulation that governs facial recognition. 16 municipalities, including like San Francisco, Boston, Oakland, have banned the use of facial recognition by city officials like the cops. Not to say that like private businesses can't use it. Um, so some places prohibit it, and but most places allow it. 16 cities is not that many. Yeah, well, it's certainly going to be an ongoing conversation. Blake, we appreciate you joining us. For more information on facial recognition tech, you can check out gizmodo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.